talk about who you are as a person. We talk about who you are as an athlete. We um, just accentuate again the positives, which one page obviously doesn't really do justice. How long have you been playing quarterback? So, um, Since you were five years old. Well, I played two games that year. Played two games. So you were slacking at five. Dad, you should have been <laughs> I stuck him up. You won't know enough. You won't even know enough. I was about to say I had that five year old, so they let me play. What was the stats? Do a touchdown. I mean. <laughs> right, you do a touchdown at five years old. <laughs> touchdown. Look, look here, man. When that camera is put in your face about the notion of playing another position, what other position have you played since the age of five? Uh-huh. All right, that's just a brief glimpse inside the world of Tyrod Taylor. During his college career at Virginia Tech, Tyrod carved up opposing defenses. We saw him do it week in and week out. He did it through the air. He also did it on the ground. He holds records for career passing, total offense, and most wins by any Hokie quarterback in school history. Not bad when you consider that a guy named Michael Vick also played that position at Virginia Tech. He's a dual threat. He can run, he can throw. Now he sets his sights on the NFL draft. The journey that will be chronicled in ESPN's three-part series, Three for the Show. And Tyrod Taylor joins us now on ESPN First Take to talk about it. And and by the way, in case you missed it, he is a quarterback. He wants to be a quarterback. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. We just saw the excerpt from, uh, from the upcoming year of the quarterback, Three for the Show deal. What has it been like having these cameras in your face all the time? Uh, it's different, but um, I'm taking it to process. I'm enjoying it and staying positive throughout the whole thing. We heard in that clip that you started playing football at five years old. What was your earliest football memory? Uh, getting a chance to play at five. Uh, I was another guy on the, opposite, uh, on the opposing team that was five years old and uh, only got to play one game that year. So it was fun going out there, being with the guys, and just going out there and making plays. Um, and directly, we we had a tough competition uh, with this one team named York Seaford. And every time we played them, it was it was head back and forth. And uh, I remember just going back and forth in that game and making a bunch of touchdowns. I think my fr- my first year out there had 21 touchdowns. 21 touchdowns? Yes, sir. As a five-year-old or were you six at that <laughs> I was point? Six at that point. 21 touchdowns. Wow, well, sign of things to come. All right. You, since then, you've had a lot of great memories. You gave us all a, an unbelievable memory <laughs> in your bowl game back in January. And I know we have the tape from this. This this play, I, mean, I, I saw it, I, I mean, obviously the comparison is unbelievable with playing the same position in the same school as Michael Vick, but that's who it reminded me of. I'm sure you've been told that a billion times. Uh, what was it like? How did that play unfold? What were you seeing? Uh, I was going out to the left to try to bash the time for the receiver to go to the back of the, uh, back of the end zone, and as I was going to the sideline, I realized I was... I Run out of space, and um, so I tried to stay in bounds. I turned my body, and luckily I kept the left foot in bounds and, uh, <laughs> and got it to the guy in the back of the end zone. Then I turned to Coach Harbaugh and asked him, "Was I in bounds?" And he couldn't hear me. He was going back and forth like we were fussing. He's pointing that you're out of bounds, and I love the the side angle of the play. I think it's the one uh, maybe after this angle. You can see Harbaugh in the background. Aside from the fact that you weren't out of bounds, but aside from the fact that he wanted you to be out of bounds. And I'm just going to read his mind for a second because there he is in the background. The look on his face is, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> how, how did you just make that play? The little pirouette. And then you're falling backwards when you make that throw. Uh, did you think that you were going to complete it when you threw it or were you just hoping? Oh, no. I, I know I could complete it. Um, I wouldn't have threw it if I didn't, if I didn't think I could complete it. Um, I think that shows arm strength, being able to fall back, and also balance. And uh, as far as me turning on the side, like, I was just all instinct. It wasn't anything that I planned. I read that you like to watch a lot of highlights on YouTube. How often have you seen that play? And what do you think to yourself when you when you watch it? Um, that play right there was wild. Like I said, I don't know if I could go out there and do it again. Uh, like I said, it was just all instinct. Um, I watch a lot of a lot of YouTube highlights, especially now that I'm gone from Virginia Tech, and it's just fun to, to see all the plays that I made. There. Yeah. Uh, the draft is a, is a critical time for you, and you have said that you want to be a quarterback. That's been your whole life's training, going back to when you were five years old. You said that uh, that's all you've wanted. But there are those in the league that think you're a four or five guy. You'd make a great wide receiver. Why are you so entrenched in the idea that you you only want to play quarterback? Uh, that's all I know. Like I said, I've been playing it since I was five. Um, haven't played any other position. I train from a quarterback mind, uh, mindset. I prepare from a quarterback mindset. Uh, I don't think that you should use my athleticism against me. Um, if anything, you should want the more athletic uh, person on your on your team with the ball in his hands every play, and that's at the quarterback position. I think if given an opportunity, I can go out there and press a lot of people. Todd McShay of uh, ESPN Inc., Scouts Inc. doesn't have you on his board as a quarterback, but has you 17th as a wide receiver. 
Um, d what does that do for you? Does it motivate you? Does it make uh, make you want to go out and prove everybody wrong? Uh, yes, it motivates me. Um, uh, every time I step on the field, whether it's a workout or playing a game, I, I, I play with a chip on my shoulder. And um, like I said, that's just added motivation. And I take all that and, and put it into my game, put it into my workout, and try to be the best quarterback I can be. What's your relationship like with Mike? How often do you guys talk? Uh, we talk here and there. Um, I haven't really talked to him much uh, throughout this process. Um, kind of back and forth. My dad has talked to him sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're from the same area, so uh, we're very, very good friends. Just haven't talked to him much. Do you like the comparisons that, that have been made throughout your career to Michael? Uh, yes, it's a compliment. Uh, every athlete want, wants to be his own player, but uh, being compared to him is definitely a compliment. Um, we're very similar, but uh, we're, we're very different at times uh, throughout our game. I think coming out of college, uh, at the time he was coming out, the time I was coming out, I think I'm a little bit uh, ahead of him as far as the, the grasp of the game and the passing. Uh, as far as passing, uh, I think my completion was a, was a little bit higher than his as far as the completion rate. But like I said, it's all a compliment. And he was one of the most dangerous players in the NFL and has been for, for, for several years now. Yeah. What's the rub uh, on Tyrod Taylor? Why, why are you not higher up on these draft boards? And, and, and uh, what do you think it is? I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, I, I've made I've made plays, um, play well in my in my university. Um, my numbers rank just as high as anyone else that they're talking. Is about. it a height thing? Maybe a height thing. Um, I don't think it's a problem with my height. You're taller than Michael. Yeah, it's taller than Michael. Probably taller height. than Drew Brees. Yeah, I believe so. Um, There's other guys like uh, Steve Young, Brett Favre that, that are six two and under, and um, I don't think that, that height is a, is a problem. I've been this height, haven't had a problem with it up until now. So uh, I'm just going to continue to be myself, go out there and play, and uh, hopefully win games as a quarterback. How, the next how will you watch the draft? Uh, I'm not sure. I told my mom I'd probably get on a boat and go fish. They can watch it. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Tyrod Taylor, boy, you can, uh, you can go back and look. at they got a lot of YouTube highlights out there. Congratulations on a terrific sure. career. I know it's a tense time for you. I think it's going to work out okay. Good luck uh, during the draft. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Now, off to the